Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the unexpected WSL error in the Docker desktop. So it'll say Docker desktop, unexpected WSL error. An unexpected error was encountered while executing a WSL command. Common causes include access write issues, which occur after waking the computer or not being connected to your domain slash active directory. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, it's a command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Type in IP config, followed by a space, forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS, it should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter, should come back a Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, once again exactly how you see it on my screen, and hit enter. Successfully reset the WinSock catalog, you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here, and restart your computer. And once you're back into Windows, open up the search menu, type in PowerShell, best match, let's say Windows PowerShell, right click on it, and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. Type in WSL space minus sign update, exactly as you see on my screen. So again, WSL space minus sign update, hit Enter. Once that is done, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in Windows Features, select Turn Windows Features On or Off, go ahead and open that up. If you see Hyper-V in here, make sure that is checkmarked and filled in, and anything under here should be filled in as well underneath Hyper-V. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and select OK, it may have to update the files, and then restart your computer one more time, especially for that PowerShell command, so just give that a moment. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.